vlog. Ma Sibai. Ma Talino. Ma Sibai. Mathematics and for today's vlog. I'm Kizaya. Hi, I'm Nathan C. P. Adesara. Hi there, you guys. Ayla here. I'm Lee. Let's talk about Ian Stewart's book entitled Nature's Numbers, Chapter 2, What is Mathematics For? Nature is full of patterns which we can admire and can remind us of what we are. But in a human culture, we often to ask hows, whys, what, or question. But mentioned in page 14, it says, Mathematics is brilliant at helping us to solve puzzles. It is more or less systematic way of digging out the rules and structures that lie behind some observed pattern or regularity. And then using those rules and structure to explain what's going on. So mathematics helps us to understand the world we're living in today. Kepler discovered that the planets move not only in circles, but ellipses, that the nature of acceleration is not a fundamental quality but a rate of change. And there is invented calculus that helps us to work out the rates of change. And the story of it brings out two of the main things that the mathematics is for, that is mentioned in page 17. Firstly, is providing the tools that let scientists calculate what nature is doing. Secondly, is providing new questions for mathematics to sort out on their own satisfaction. These are respectedly applied pure mathematics. The chapter gives us clear understanding on how important mathematics is in our daily life. It is a help to better know ourselves for we do express our feelings through the beauty of patterns. Stewart mentions one of the oddities, paradoxes or thought-provoking things that come up in many science books, which is the eerie way that good mathematics, mathematics well done, whatever its source, and no matter how abstract its origin, eventually it turns out to be useful, to be applicable to the real world. To explain some aspects of nature. With the help of math, we can better understand life on Earth. It is said to page 18, Mathematics is, is the science of patterns, and the nature exploits just about every pattern that there is, which is why we discover patterns everywhere. We humans express these patterns in numbers, but nature doesn't, see, doesn't use numbers as such. She uses the patterns and shapes and possibilities which the numbers express are defined. Many philosophers wonder why. Is there a deep congruence between the human mind and the structure of the universe? Did God make the universe mathematically and implanted the understanding of math within us? Is the universe made out of math? Because I tend to believe that the world and even us humans are made out of mathematics. We would never be convinced of what we are now without the proof of mathematics. Examples are here in pages 19 to 23 are number one, the discoveries of genes and the late molecular structure of DNA. Number two, the notice of tiny numerical relationship and how proportions of plants have different characteristics. Number three, the double helix structure of DNA. Number four, why snails have spiral shells. And number five, the computer simulation of the evolution of an eye from an initial mutation providing for skin cells sensitive to light. Published by Daniel Nelson and Suzanne Folger in 1994. Math helps us de determine the results of something like, like how we know from the DNA of our parents running in our body. As what is it it's a ball? Patterns appear wherever we look, wherever we are. We can use math to relate geometry in all different variables. In page 24 of the book, it states there that the resonance is the relationship between periodically moving bodies 
in which two cycles lock together so that they can take up the same relative positions at regular intervals. The cycle time is the period of the system. The individual bodies have different periods. The moon's rotational period is the same as its revolution around the Earth. So, there is a one is to one resonance of its orbital and rotational period. Rather, the dynamics of solar system is full of resonance. Mathematics doesn't just analyze. It also predicts. Yeah, predicts how all kinds of systems will work. Some aerodynamics which gives plane flying to the amount of fertilizers required to increase crop yield to the complicated calculations which gives communication satellites in orbit around the Earth. So, therefore, sustain internet and mobile networks. But why does Philippines have slow internet connection? Hmm. Everything would not be invented if it is not because of mathematics with the help of other senses as well. So thanks to mathematics which helps discover these particular things and makes our life easier at all. That's a matter of fact. Mathematics must be understood because mathematics is a tool to invent new things. It is for everybody, for the people, for the nature, for the person who hurts you, who breaks your heart. Mathematics is applicable to any kinds of things. Whether we like it or not, mathematics is waving in all aspects of life. Iniwan ka man ng lahat, pero di ang mathematics. Sakit sa heart. I have here my reasons for what is mathematics for. Mathematics must be continues to be explored because without mathematics, there would be no inventions or new discoveries. We cannot be known for what we are today if it was not for the help of math in our life. It gives us a clearer understanding of how things work and how we may predict future events that can help human society. Added to it, math is useful in everything that we do and what we want to know about life. It can be a tool to learn and to better understand vicinity. Chapter 2 basically deals with the significance of mathematics way back centuries before up to this current generation and talks about where it was discovered for or simply its purposes. Math is required to better understand the world, almost everything around the world and things people are used for. Absolutely, mathematics is the key. Yeah, the key that can help us build a better future for better generations. Furthermore, Chapter 2 tells the importance of mathematics when it comes to research and study. Leading the researchers themselves to have prediction of the possible things or phenomenon that could possibly happen to occur. Math is here, you, and everywhere. Without math in our life, in nature, and in everything, human society would collapse and our civilization would start to go backwards. So, what is mathematics for? Math is for you, for everything, and for everyone. Mathematics is life. Bye! So, like and subscribe!